Hey guys, Josh here from Momento Productions and today I've got the DJI Mavic Pro and we are going to be talking about how to achieve beautiful cinematic shots with the Mavic Pro. So stay tuned for the rest of this video and we're gonna make you pro drone cinematographers. All right, so I have the DJI Mavic Pro set up right behind me on the floor. Let's take off and show you how to become pro drone cinematographers. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So I know that the DJI Mavic Pro has a bunch of cool flight automated um, camera movements and all that kind of stuff, but we want to avoid those because those can seem pretty robotic. We want to get really good with the remote control here. We need to remember that we need to keep soft fingers on the remote controller just so we can get those smoother pans, those smoother tilts, and overall better looking shots. Let's get started with what I like to call the droney or the selfie. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull in close here. And basically what it is, we're doing a pull away or fly away shot. We're starting low, ending up high, and we want to keep control of the camera's tilt during this movement. So I'm gonna start by tilting down, pulling back on the right stick, and pulling up on the left stick. And also, keep your forefinger on this dial here and keep control of the tilt. You wanna keep the subject in focus and in the middle of the frame. Let's begin. Notice the camera tilt is at the right speed, not too fast, not too slow, and it's keeping the house, the subject, in the center of the frame. Going off the little center here, so I'm gonna readjust, and there we go. There's our droney and our selfie right there. Once I've tilted enough to keep the house center of the frame, I can let go of the dial and keep pulling back. So that was our first camera move the pull away. Now let's do the push in. So I'm gonna start up from up here and I'm going to ease in. Same kind of movements here. Really soft on the dial, really soft on the joysticks here. All right, so right stick goes up, left stick goes down. And the dial has to be moved accordingly. That's a nice shot right there. You can see the slow tilt of the camera and the nice speed of the drone. Next shot. This is actually a very, very simple shot, but I don't see enough of it online. We're gonna do what is called a 360 degree spin, but from directly above us. So we're gonna go up high, go right above the house, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna point the camera all the way down. We're actually gonna adjust a little bit, push the drone a little more center here and we're gonna do a spin, 360 degrees. Left stick left or left stick right, doesn't really matter. You can leave the tilt alone at this moment. Simple, right? Just a little spin. Now to add some depth to this movement, we want to increase elevation or decrease elevation. So I'm gonna go down and turn and I can also Go up and turn. See that? Very simple, very beautiful, very cinematic. The next camera move, and one of my favorites. I like to call it the creep away. So what we're gonna do, since I live on a slope, we're gonna start at the bottom of the slope, and we're gonna increase acceleration, and we're gonna, right before we hit the end or edge of the slope, we're gonna lift all the way up. So let me show you what I mean. We're gonna slowly creep in. So right stick up, nothing with the left stick yet. Now I'm going to start lifting up the left stick, increasing elevation. Now I'm gonna start speeding up just a little bit. Boom, the creep away. That's what, at least what I like to call it. <laughs> All right guys, so this next cinematic move can be a little bit tricky. I call it the drop and tilt. So what's gonna happen here, we're not gonna touch the position of the Mavic. However, we are going to mess with the elevation and the tilt. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna push down on the left stick to decrease elevation, and we are going to be 
tilting up as soon as we get low enough and lose view of the house. So I'm going to be centering up here. I'm gonna be changing my elevation, going down, and tilting up. You can see the small, subtle tilt there. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's do the lift and tilt. Exactly the same, but we're tilting down this time and we're elevating, increasing elevation. So let's go up and tilt down. Here we go. Lastly, but yet the most difficult and complicated camera move involves the whole drone, and it's called the backward flight pan. Now, it sounds pretty complicated, but with enough practice, you'll get it right. So what's gonna happen is, the drone is gonna push back backwards, and it's also going to pan and tilt. So let's start simple. Let's back up and pan. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push down on the right stick, and push the left stick to the left or to the right, depending on your liking. Here we go, let's begin. And here comes the pushback. And let's add a nice soft pan. Also, always keep an eye on the Mavic. You don't want it to run into anything. Also add in a subtle tilt. Nice subtle tilt there is always welcomed and you get a beautiful cinematic shot there. Look at that. That's actually one of my favorite camera moves. All right, so I hope this video has helped you incorporate some of these camera moves in your workflow. And honestly, I really see an improvement in my drone footage when I incorporate complex camera moves and drone moves. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below or email me at info at capturethemomentum.com. Visit my website as well at capturethemomentum.com and don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video if you haven't done so already. And if you're a company that would like me to review your products on my channel, please also email me at info at capturethemomentum.com. Thank you so much for watching and have fun flying. Bye-bye.